matching half. The bones of this spot were once known as One World Cafe, and the energy here has mystical qualities for me. One of the reasons that is true is that there used to be a sign marking the center of San Francisco on the corner of Fulton and Baker Street, one block away. And as it turns out, much of my San Francisco life would revolve around this neighborhood and specifically what the neighbors around the corner at this time would call the McBaker. My first experience of this place was on the five McAllister bus the morning after I arrived in the city on a visit in the 90s. At that moment of seeing the welcoming stained glass peacocks over the first level of a detailed painted and warm tones corner Victorian abode with a sign hanging over the open door that read One World Cafe. I took the inspired action of jumping off the bus at the stop across the street and had a taste of my next chapter in life. I was already in a dream state of excitement for having made it to San Francisco. And the Pleiadian tree on Alamo Square Hill had whispered its encouragement for me to come back with intentions of planting real roots. I had no idea then how real that would become. I only knew that feeling of joy, fulfillment, and flow there Sipping a latte in that central SF 90s energy added to my anticipation that I was moving towards my soul's calling. Fast forward to the audio engineering certification schooling while spending weekends camped naked under the stars on mountaintops around the state of Arizona with my lover for a year an inevitable end of school breakup, a move here finally to a summer sublet on Page Street. Two weeks on a queer couch in the mission, which led to six year roots on Baker Street, just a few blocks down the hill, while my second place came with a husband and three year old for our first storefront on the opposite corner of this very cafe. I cannot set foot on the premises without remembering so much of my own history revolving around it. And having spent so much time on the McBaker corner, I realized a whole novella could be written around that peacock stained glass corner Victorian. I've seen the space change owners and offerings over the years, and I love the current long-standing matching half cafe iteration. The expanded outdoor seating since the pandemic makes this a comfortable, gorgeous corner for meeting people. When ordering, it's always the dirty chai for me as that particularly satisfying, warm and spicy zing is the best I've ever had. But more importantly, there's an energy of connection, creativity and leisure that continues to abide on the premises and reminds me of my own arrival experience to the center of San Francisco.